Hey guys, welcome back. It's Missy. And today I thought we would talk about jealousy. And when it comes to jealousy, it's important to call yourself out because a lot of the times when you're jealous, you will start to be really hateful and angry. And no one likes being told they're jealous. Of course, that's the worst thing. Um, guys, never call a girl out and say, oh, you're just jealous. Worst thing. It's more important to help them figure out what they're feeling because jealousy comes from insecurity or envy, like they want something they don't have and fear that something will be taken away. Insecurity a lot of times can start at a young age. It can start from what we see in the media. It can start from what we see around us. It can start from what we are told. And it starts that seed of insecurity, which then can grow into jealousy. If we don't have positive self-talk or we don't feel secure in ourselves, it can then lead to jealousy. So you may notice that when you see people that you feel are better than you or look better than you, you will start having negative thoughts about them or turn it on yourself and start having negative thoughts about yourself. This is your subconscious insecurities coming out of not feeling good enough or not feeling worthy or seeing they have things that you want like popularity or good looks. As a female in today's society, there's a lot of pressure to look a certain way, to have the to be the slim thick, to have the big butt, to have hips, but not a stomach and big boobs and your face has to be on point and your skin flawless and it's just a lot of pressure when a lot of it a lot of people are getting surgeries they're doing botox so in today's society there's a lot of unrealistic expectations and a lot of the times us as females we don't feel pretty because we see these things and we get really jealous or like it's not fair you get those feelings of oh, it's not fair why do they have it well i want it Look how pretty they are and then you look in the mirror and you start tearing yourself apart and that's what you'll do with all the insecurities and the jealous and it makes you afraid to be in relationships sometimes because you're afraid that your partner will leave you for someone that looks like kylie jenner so it's important to first figure out why you are feeling jealous are you feeling you don't trust people do you not trust yourself do you feel like you are missing something in your life? Do you feel like the way you talk to yourself is really harming yourself? Are you feeling very insecure? Are you struggling with a sense of self? Are you around too many things that make you feel jealous? Do you feel like something's lacking in your own life? Do you feel like you're not getting the things you want in your life? Then when you figure out why you're feeling jealous, it's important to tackle that issue. If you feel like you're envious, jealous of things other people have, it's important you watch what you're telling yourself. So there's a couple things that go through our minds when we're jealous. We, a lot of times we'll put people on pedestals like, oh, they have everything. They have such a good life and they have everything I want. Especially with social media. A lot of the times in social media, we will perceive that People put it out there and we also perceive that people have all these things, they have it all together. When in reality, it's Facetune and sometimes people pay people to be their boyfriends or friends. It's not what it all is made out to be. So it's important you remind yourself, just because people are showing you a certain picture doesn't mean that they don't have their own personal struggles. They have things they struggle with just like you. And they also have their own flaws. That's why with jealousy, it's really important you work on those insecurities. How you work on those insecurities is by having that self-love and reminding yourself who you are, the good qualities, even some of the flaws and accepting those flaws, telling yourself the beautiful things that you possess. It's that self-acceptance. Like, this is me. Take it or leave it. There's been times when I've felt really jealous and I've looked at myself in the mirror and I put myself down and I pick myself apart and think about all the other girls and what they have 
And then I'd stop myself and say, this is me, take it or leave it. Like, I can't worry about everyone else. This is what I got. Here's what I'm putting on the table. Do you accept my offer or do you decline? Accept yourself and accept that there are certain people that are not going to be for you. And that's okay. You don't want those people. You want the people that take the deal. They want what you're putting on the table. You first have to accept that this is what I'm offering. You know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So don't forget, you are beautifully unique to somebody. Another thing that's important to remind yourself is the things that you have. You have things that they also don't have. It's important you remember your good qualities. And also if you see that they have something that you want, you can use it as motivation. There's enough success to go around. You can have those similar things. You take away from yourself getting those things by focusing on everyone else or focusing on what other people have or even sending hatred towards that person. Focus on yourself and motivate yourself to get those things. You can absolutely have similar things if you work really hard. Another thing that helps is to be happy for them. I know it may seem hard to be happy for someone else. At the same time, when you look at it from a different perspective, it will shift the jealousy into positive feelings. Let's say someone's a doctor and you really wanted to be a doctor, but something that you're struggling with, you can be happy for them and turn it around and see it in a different light. They're helping people. You also want to help people. Let's say you want to be an Instagram model. They have become successful. That's a great thing. You also can be successful. Just because someone has something, it doesn't mean it takes away from you. You can also do those things. It's important you work on your own insecurities and you work on your own issues because they're not the problem. They're just living their lives. You're having your own problems and it's okay. Jealousy is natural. It's important you call yourself out and don't just hide it like, I'm not jealous because it's easy to do that. Call yourself out. I'm jealous right now. I wish I had those things. Remind yourself that sometimes it's not all what it's out made to be. They have flaws too. You have good things as well. And you can do things too. Let's say there's an instance where maybe you're not able to achieve certain things because it just wasn't on the table for you. You can shift that and set realistic expectations for yourself. So just because your life didn't go the way you had wanted and someone else has the life that going the way you had wanted doesn't mean you can't shift your dream and make it a reality. That's sometimes what needs to happen is we need to shift our expectations to in a more realistic way. And remembering that they're not out to get you. They're not an enemy. They're like I said, they're just living their life and you can live your life as well. Especially if you focus less on them and more on yourself. Another thing you may need to do is to unfollow people on social media or not be around certain people that make you especially jealous. You may need time away from them to heal your insecurities and your issues. So how you deal with jealousy is one, figuring out where it comes from. Then it's important to tackle that issue. Give yourself your wants and needs. Focusing on yourself. Dealing with your trust issues with your partner, yourself, or others. Developing a better relationship with yourself. Giving yourself that self-love. Dealing with your insecurities. Telling yourself good things about yourself. Reminding yourself that people show you what they want to show you and they are dealing with their own flaws and you have good things and they have good things and you both can have good things. There's enough to go around and be happy for them. They're doing something great. You can do something great too. What do you guys think? Do you deal with jealousy and how do you deal with it? Leave it all in the comments below and don't forget to like and, sub like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye guys.
realistically see things. Do you, are you struggling with a stronger sense? Are you strong? Are you <laughs> Corona. <laughs> and I know it may seem, I know it may seem, I know it may seem, is that the right word? I know it may seem.